So let us start with using a nano editors. So as I said, you can use it any of the terminal, any of the distributors, even in the Unix operating system or the Linux operating system. For using the nano editors and editing our file, we have to move it to our Linux console. So for our terminal users, we have a you know, easiest method to edit a file that is the nano editor. So already we have created the files uh, into the previous system that is fruits and numbers. Now if I want to edit a file, for example, the same uh, file I'm going to edit by using nano editor, that is the fruit. Now if I open a fruit file, I can find this are the fruit name which I have. So I can add whatever the fruit name I want or if I want to remove any fruit name I can remove this as well. And if I want to save the file, so for that we have what the commands or what the key, what keys generally will be able to use are mentioned over here. So this caret sign, caret sign means control, control plus D to get the help, control plus O to write out whatever the changes you have done, control R to read a file, control Y to check the previous page of a file, control K to cut a particular text. Control C for cursor position. So it will show you the cursor position where you are, where it is. Right, so it is showing you line numbers and column numbers and which character we are using, working on. Same way you have Control Z, Control X for exit, Control J for justify, com Control W check for something like if I want to check for something like mango. So I can just add it, it will directly take my cursor on that particular word. Same way we can also go for the next page by using Control V and Control U we can use for uncut. So for example, I have cut something over here. So if I want to uncut it or undo it, so I'll be using Control U. So it is a small case itself, you do not have to use the capital. So same way to check for the spellings, you have Control T, so you can check the spellings and you know errors if you have. So if suppose you have error into any of your, uh, you know, text. So for example, this word I'm reading in such a way, and again I'm going to check it. So it will show me this is not the word which you have written. So if you want to accept that this is the, this word, so you can go for accept. If you want to insert it, you can insert, uncap. Here, so as you can use for system Q, you can use for quit and X for E for exit. So uh, I want to accept it, so I'm going to accept the same by using quit A. Correct, so it, I have accepted that is make of void. Now if suppose again I want to check it and I want that this should be inserted, so I'll be using I. So it will insert the same. Right, so this is what exactly generally we have into the error checkings and you know uh, the spell checking generally which we have. So now if I want to save a file, first of all I have to write the changes, so for that I'll use Control O for write out. So it will ask me whether you want to save the changes in the same file or you want to save as in the different name. So you can also save as with the different name with fruits1. Uh, so the file, my original file fruit will be as it is and it will create a new file with the name fruits1. So it will save as copy of the file. Just hit enter. And now it's asking you whether you want to save with a different name. I am going to use yes. So automatically it's saved with a different name. And you can see the name is being changed over here. That is fruit one. And for moving out of here, I'll use control X. So now let us check what the differences we have into the file fruit and fruit one. So I can see what are the changes I have made here. I have now I create let's say the copy if I do not want to make the changes and uh, sorry I want to keep the changes in the same file just I will be hitting enter over here so I won't create any save as copy like say nano fruits one I'll edit this file I'll add something into the file like this is a detailed file now I want to make the changes into the same file, I'll press Ctrl O and hit enter. So automatically this file will be saved into the same content what we have added. 
Now let us switch out of here and check. We have only two files of the same fruit. We can also check in such a way like F and S right. So it will show me the fruits and fruits one. So let us check with fruits. Let us check with your fruits one. Correct. So this line has been added. So this is how generally we can use your nano editor to edit a file. This is the simplest way how we can edit the file. But there are more options we do not have. Like if I'm going to search for a particular word and if I want to search for number of times, I cannot go for it. Correct. So there are many disadvantages of using it, you know, the nano editors. So if I want to copy multiple lines at a time, I cannot do it. So for that, we have some advanced tools which we are going to see in the next video.